This is a video about a new fractal I made called Deep Waters. You can see here the series thumbnails. And this is the origin of the Mandelbrot set and uh, the final uh, structure uh, accessed in this series. Here I zoom in the different um, 4000 by 4000 uh, pictures generated on each layer. Uh, each layer has a factor of uh, 10 zoom, if I remember correctly. So what makes this uh, endgame fractal special is that um, its structure resembles both um, galactic structures as if you would uh, slice a galaxy in the middle, in the sagittal uh, plane. You would see something similar, but also um, structures in the infinitesimal, um, in the subatomic realm. So here we, are, we see that uh, we are accessing um, a renewed Mandelbrot set uh, somewhere in the middle of the series. Uh, but that uh, set is oriented differently, about uh, almost 90 degrees uh, clockwise uh, from the original set. So you could try and recreate this fractal from that particular region, but uh, it might not work and it might be easier to recreate this fractal from the same region I started and follow the same uh, pattern and parameters I use. Uh, in Fractal Maker. So here you can even see Mandelbrot set in the, the peak, but we're not going in there, we're going um, above and beyond, so to speak, uh, in that darker area of the Thunderbolt uh, generated by the Fractal's edges. So here we are going into the darker um, part of the Thunderbolt, but that presents a um, some more bright structure, which has six arms. Two of them are uh, part of the Thunderbolt and uh, four are uh, forking in an X-shape um, style. Here is the structure uh, visible at the beginning of the video. It's a disc-shaped um, structure with a fulcrum point and a symmetry and that also has an um, X-shaped um, halo in the middle. Structure that resembles interference patterns. Here are reaching the limits of the program's uh, capabilities, even though uh, mathematically you can go uh, infinitely deeper and deeper into these uh, structures. Here's an older fractal I made that uh, presents a structure that looks like a, a galaxy. such as this one, which is Messier 106. And in the Primer Field series by David Lapointe, which I mirror my channel, uh, where he uses this ball-shaped magnetic field uh, with a current-induced plasma, he recreates uh, structures you can see in deep space, such as the radio galaxy, Hercules A. And if you diminish exposure, you can see that X-shaped halo that is also visible on many galaxies uh, throughout the universe, including and especially the Red Square Nebula, which hasn't been explained before um, David Lapointe made his experiments in 2013. This is NGC 3918, um, uh, which structure is explained by the lab setup. Also, uh, many cosmic structures um, produce jets of matter uh, which are visible and are explained, including your own galaxy. If you look at the center of our Milky Way galaxy, you can see those uh, spurs uh, in different wavelengths. So when you look at some galaxies from the side, they have this um, 
thin structure with some thickness in it. And if we cut, for example, this one in a surgical fashion, you could see those arms um, cut and presenting the same structure as in the fractal I generated. This Galaxy NGC 891 uh, resembles very much um, the fractal structure I generated. Uh, here I have turned it uh, to the horizontal plane after this uh, Saturn picture which um, the rings are held by those primer field generated by the planet's core. So here I've um, turned the Galaxy NGC and as you can see uh, it presents similar pattern as the fractal I generated. But this is nothing new, um, fractals resemble galaxies, but what's new is that this structure also resembles um, double slit interference pattern. But not this one, but rather this recent one, which is the electron momentum distribution from strong field single ionization of argon. You can see down to the details of the center and the fulcrum point that the structure are exactly similar. This pattern was published in the physical review letters from April uh, 2015 and I have here included the whole article in case you want to read it. So this fractal shows that the universe itself has a fractal nature because the same um, structures are found in extremely different scales and I prove that uh, the universe is a creation and that mathematics is the language that can be used to describe the universe at all scales.